no idea what threats are out there. We can't do this alone. We need you. I'm not what you think I am. everybody welcome to the hump day show what's up uh this is jerks <laughs> is uh <laughs> i am a public enemy 59 <sighs> and we are here to review captain marvel let me put those effects in there sure um uh, man uh so we uh saw captain marvel did Duh. we we did. Not together, though. Not together. Thank separately. God. But together. But equal. Together. Uh, but uh, we saw this movie. Uh, and uh, we are going to spoil it today. We're going to review it. We're going to say our thoughts. So we're going to start, what, the first fucking three minutes and just give a fucking overview of what we thought. So after three minutes, four minutes, whatever the fuck it is, we'll go into spoilers. So, uh... Let's begin. What did you think? Mm. All right. Well, okay. Captain Marvel was going to be one of those movies that you're either going to love or hate. You think? Yes. There's no in between. I don't think so. I'm kind of a little I mean, between. I mean, for the most part, it's going to be either you love or hate it. Well, everybody I, else either loves it or hates it. That's what I'm saying. Mm. I mean, normal people will love or hate it, but you know. Ab- above average oh like okay the like, way podcast gotcha, members yes. and like, listeners and like watchers what? would know better <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, <laughs> all right this movie <sighs> look out I, I went in it just watched the first trailer that's it didn't hear anything didn't see anything else i was like it's a marvel movie obviously i'm gonna watch this yeah. shit I'm already, what, 10 plus years deep in this shit. Bet. I have to watch this. I have to finish this. Endgame is next month. What happens here? So we begin the movie. It's 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 based in the 90s, like mid-90s, right? Yeah. Like 95, 94, 94, like 95, yeah. And it's basically a story of, uh, of Claire Danes, who's played by Brie Olsen, Lals- Lalson, who forget her, forgets her memories. And she's basically Jason Bourne, you know, going through the whole process of getting back her memories. Mm-hmm. That's the simplified version of this movie. Don't, no spoils yet. No, no, spoilers no. That's, yet. that's the simplified okay, okay. version of this movie. Now, <sighs> all right, uh, who is the director? I think this has two directors, but it, the point is, whoever directed these movies, like, if you can pull that up, please, y- you expect some types of, like, certain types of, like, Marvel movies that have a certain type of aesthetic style to each one like like Thor Ragnarok has like uh like Iron Man has and so on and so forth like Captain America but this movie so it's all kind of like theme it, it's and, all kind of like theme yeah. like Guardians of the Galaxy yeah. and so on and so forth this movie felt bland it felt like you think it felt like this this the the directorial like direction they did with this it's it has two directors uh anna bowden and ryan flick um it felt like this movie didn't want to be settled with uh its own type of style but more like let's just do what's already been done for I, me i get you and i think you're right they tried to push that 90s aesthetic yeah yeah that for sure they did they and at some points i think they did well Mm -hmm. and at some points i just didn't think it hit thor ragnarok had that like 80s Mm kind of like graphic uh yeah yeah, yeah, look to the world and kind of like a funky thing with all the colors and stuff yeah yeah yeah, and it was cool Mm -hmm. It, it fit well with that movie you know, you gotta, and no, it shouldn't have. It shouldn't yeah. have worked, but it fucking did. It, yeah, like kind of like with the music in Guardians One, like it fit so well. Oh, it was so good. So fucking good. Yeah. And so in Captain Marvel, I agree with you. In there, they tried to do that '90s feel, and to be honest, not. A, um, I haven't seen that uh, one uh, Seth Rogen movie. 
It's a um, movie? Yeah, where he's like, uh, the kids are like, it's in based in, oh, it's, I think it's called that, the 90s. Oh, 90s mid 90s or, or something like that. Yeah. But that's, uh, that's not Seth Rogen. That's uh, Jonah Hill. Oh, okay. Yeah. You're right. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Sorry. Uh, so I haven't seen that movie, but I heard that captures that feeling very well. Of the 90s. Exactly. Okay. And it, Which well, my sure point is not title. a lot of people, the 90s just, well, and it didn't just happen, but it's more recent. Not a lot of people have tried that yet. Mm. And so it hasn't been perfected. Not like the 80s and the 70s, which has been done to death, right? Okay, I see where you're going with that. Yeah, I get you. So I feel like in their attempt, in Captain Marvel's attempt, they didn't succeed. Yeah, there were some funny sparks that they did, mm. uh, but to the 90s, uh, related to the 90s, but whatever. I didn't think it all, yeah. all around worked so well. Yeah. My impression was like those first 30 minutes, oh man, I did not like. No? I feel like the comedy was forced. Um, there were some one liners. Like whenever they're just interacting with each other. Yeah, those some one liners would just feel bland to me. They're very mad. Those first 30 minutes, I literally was disappointed in those first 30 minutes. I was like, okay, I, I mean, I can't believe it. Yeah. You know, because I really was, high, I, I got a little hype for this movie. Yeah. But those first 30 minutes were killing it for me. The rest of the movie, the next hour and a half, <laughs> really <laughs> picked up. Over, yeah. Really picked up, and it okay. It it got me to think this is a pretty, pretty stellar movie for Marvel. Do I think it, it is it up there with the Absolutely rest not. of the top movies? No, no. like no. Guardians of Galaxy One. You're looking at Homecoming. You're looking at Black Panther. You're looking at the first Iron Man. You're looking at Thor Ragnarok. Like in that echelon, no. Is it pretty good? Yeah, that's what I think. Well, okay. Just to go over the cast, it's Brie Larson, who's actually an Academy Award runner for Best Actress. Uh, Jude Law, who was just in uh, uh, that Grindelwald, uh, Fantastic Beast. He was a young, um, damn it, the guy who runs goddamn Hogwarts. I forgot his name. Oh, Dumbledore. Dumbledore. He's like the young Dumbledore. Uh, Of course, we got Samuel L. Jackson, who they did an amazing job with the CGI. Oh, my God. Like, de-aging him. It looks incredible. Badass. Like. you oh, like, Samuel like they have CGI in this movie, and you could tell that's CGI, but when you see Samuel L. Jackson, you're like, where's the CGI at? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah, so we got Samuel L., uh, we got Lee Pace, who actually comes back for like little short parts, uh, who plays Ronan, who was actually the lead villain in Galaxy. Uh, and of course, we actually have Ben uh, Mendelssohn? Mendelssohn? <laughs> I can't pronounce his name. Mendel- you, Mendelssohn. Who yeah. usually plays the villains. In uh, Ready Player One, Rogue, Rogue, Rogue One. Yeah, Rogue Shit. One. <laughs> really good in that one. Uh, what other movie did he do, do that he was a villain in? I forgot. But basically, this guy is like pretty good villain. Uh, oh, don't. Oh, but he plays uh, Talos, right? That's his name. Yeah. No, I'm just going off the cast right yeah, now. Yeah. Uh, and then there's Annette. Bing, who's also uh, an actress I've seen before. I don't recognize her as in, in other movies. And the rest of the cast are kind of like, oh, okay. Like, I've never s- seen you or probably have. I just don't remember you. But anyways, uh, you want to get into spoilers? Yes, that's exactly <laughs> what I was going to tell you. Let's get into spoilers. All right. All right. Do you- if you haven't seen this movie, and you know what? Just watch this. I mean, honestly... <sighs> No, no. Yeah. Spoilers are the worst in the Marvel Universe. Because I, I, I think, like, for this movie, you really don't have to watch it before, no, like, that's kinda, knowing the spoilers. That's kind of true. For this one, because you already kind of know this is going to lead into Endgame. That's kind of true. So, it's kind of so like... So, do you need... It's just little okay, details we're going to give you that Avengers you movie is coming before. out next month, right? Yes. Is this... This ain't going to come out on DVD or Redbox before that, is it? Hmm. Probably not. I so, don't think so, are you forced to go watch? I didn't even think about that. Uh, but for people who don't want to pay, you know, fifteen I mean, bucks I'm for a ticket, I'm not gonna recommend this. I'm not gonna say to do this. But there are other internet means <laughs> of watching this movie. All right, so we're going into spoilers. Spoiler you, alert! You don't want to hear? It, get the hell out! Go right. watch the movie. Come back. All right, so Captain my, Marvel. Okay, in my point about the first thirty minutes. It's just bland. Okay, it's, the first 30 minutes are them on the planet, on the Kree planet, I think. Yes, and then... The uh, Kree home. Because her, she, she's one of the, like, uh, a soldier for the Kree. 
Yes. And they're hunting down the uh, what the fuck is their cult? Uh, the fuck! I just had their names. The 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 other creatures. Uh, fuck! I don't remember, man. The um, Cree and the, there's another name for them. Oh my god! Yeah, Cree are the good. Well, the good guys. <laughs> and then uh, the scrolls. That's what they're called. Scrolls. So the Cree are in a war with the scrolls. And now these scrolls have the ability to transform their image, their their shapeshifters to whatever they see. They have to see it. And I think that kind of have to be the same thing, like same height, age, what, or not age, but like build, whatever. Okay. So this movie starts (laughs) off, she's having this fucking dream nightmare. She sees, uh, uh, this woman that's always been in her fucking dream. She can't remember the past. Uh, fucking, um, Yon Rog is her mentor. Yeah. Fucking scene where they're like fighting and uh, it's just <laughs> it's I don't know man that beginning I just really thought this movie was like on its way to to being like bad. Yeah, I can see where you were you were going with that. Actually, yeah, that was kind of like a snore fest to be honest in the beginning. And then the jokes, the one liners, I'm just like, well, for that, uh, for me, and even her initial interaction with uh with Nick Fury when he first sees her. You know, that, that beginning internet interaction with them by the Blockbuster, uh, shout out to Blockbuster. Oh, yeah, where she crash lands. Yeah, um, I was just like, oh, man, I don't know, man. It just wasn't clicking with me. Then as they started introducing the other characters, um, you know, Talos, Ben Mendelsohn as Talos, um, uh, Nick Furries, and then uh, the uh, cat. What's the cat's called? Goose. Goose. And... Now when you start seeing, uh, oh, and then, uh, uh, you know, uh, Mar- uh, Captain Marvel's uh, best friend, um, Maria, in the in the in the mm-hmm. in the uh, movie, mm-hmm. that uh, you know the relationship there, you know, once they start escaping from me from the uh, from the from the air the air force yeah from the the, the base that they were at the base okay it's a base of yeah the, uh, so the once Pegasus they start getting out of there that's when i'm yeah, starting to base. like okay this is i'm interested i'm it's getting good mm-hmm. uh you know when um uh fucking yon rog is on the ship and then you see the hologram pop up of uh ronin all right and you're like what the fuck no i knew they already said he was gonna be in it yeah, I, I knew surprised. that. But see, I was staying spoiler free. I didn't know that Ronan was he had obviously to. a bad guy. He had to be because he was in Galaxy. He's a Kree. Oh, okay. Yeah, so, okay, so I mean, for me, it was obvious. Oh, okay. So for yeah. me, it wasn't. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, man, it started like that's when I started getting interested in it. And that's when the, the pace started picking up. All right, so let me just say that, okay, so we're, we're pretty, pretty much already going towards the end. I went towards the middle of the movie. But. For me, being like, been watching these movies, uh, loving a galaxy, probably the best one for my personal, you know. Thing. Yeah, Guardians of the Galaxy so, one is legit. So, going into this, I was like, wait a minute, why are they treating the Kree like they're good? Like we yeah. already know that these assholes go destroy planets and shit. Mm. So that that plot twist where they're not the good guys was kind of obvious. Oh, okay. But for me, like. When when we saw the scrolls and they were fighting the scrolls, it wasn't my idea. Well, like I wasn't have I didn't have the thought that that maybe they were actually the good guys too, or not good guys, but more like they're the victims in this whole situation. Mm. For me, it was more like oh, just another like uh, like another group of people trying to like take over planets and shit. Gotcha. I didn't realize that these people were refugees. Their planet yeah. has been destroyed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the scrolls are actually like just people just trying to live. Yeah. And the Kree are just trying to find a uh, planet, a home for them. So to the Kree have been in a war with the scrolls, trying to get rid of them. I don't remember for what. What, what was the reasoning behind it? But well, basically they said that the scrolls defied the Kree. Oh yeah, uh, they didn't want to like conform to the Kree's yeah, religion. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. That's right. But anyways, so. So, okay, we go through this movie, and throughout the movie, you actually see, like, this um, underlying, like, thing of, like, uh, uh, <laughs> well, the easiest way to put it is, I am woman, hear me roar. <laughs> it's very feminist heavy. Mm-hmm. Now, a lot of people are going to be turned off by that. I think that's where the uh, 
polarizing shit comes from. Yeah, where people because, are just downvoting the movie because, without even watching Because it. Brie Larson, who's, I believe, I don't want to say she is, but I believe she's a feminist. Like, uh, uh, later on, I found out that she's actually was talking about the movie and how it's like for that. Mm. Which makes sense why this movie came out on like International Women's Day, I think. Mm. And like, just to put it out there, I have no problem with it. That's fine. But I'm a guy, you know. I'm not. I'm not like a part of the, the whole feminist movement. So for me, it's kind of like, okay, this doesn't work for me. Mm. Like, this is for a woman. This is for little girls growing up wanting to be better than like what their mothers were. And hell yeah, you know, that's fine. That's great. Let's do that. But it, the execution in the way they did it, I don't feel it was, it was like done well. Look, I, I think it could have been done better. I think that I don't. I wouldn't blame that on the feminist. Uh, you know, like r- r- goal that the movie had. Mm-hmm. Re- when I watch a movie, regardless if it's um a, a male lead or a female lead, if a story is well told, mm-hmm. I'm in. I'm in. I'm involved. That's what I'm saying, though. The way they told the story, which yeah. included this feminism, yes. was not told to the best of their ability. Correct. And, and Honestly, that I agree with. I, at one point, I was like, was this movie even rushed? Because it felt a little rushed, especially with the CGI, with her flying around as Captain Marvel all like powered up. I was like, man, this shit looks like a fucking video game. It doesn't even look like, like a Marvel fucking CGI movie. Because we've seen plenty of Marvel movies with heavy CGI, and this shit does not look like mm-hmm. that. Like no, I mean, who knows? Who knows? What, I, you know, if it was rushed or not. I mean, this has been being talked. This movie has been, uh, you know, in the news for a long while. Right. Um, CGI wise, do I think it is a? I think it's average. I, didn't, I think it's average. I didn't too. see. Yeah. You know, when I see a good CGI movie, I'm like, what? Like, what the fuck? That's crazy. Yeah. And when I see a shitty CGI, I'm like, damn, that's a shitty job. I think it, this was it, just it takes you out of the immersion. You're like, mm. yeah, this it was an average. It wasn't something that I've never seen before. It was it it wasn't anything that I'm like, whoa, this is no. And it wasn't bad either. It's just kind of average CGI. Yeah. Well, just to get back to the story. So, I mean. Honestly, the first like the the basically the entire movie is about her getting her memories back, mm-hmm. um, realizing that she's actually been on the wrong side, on the wrong team. Yeah, for and, the three. yeah, and then she ends up helping the scroll, uh, the scrolls, and realizes she's been killing like basically like innocent scrolls, whatever. Yeah, they kind of like brush. I'm yeah. so sorry, you know. But yeah, but she's been no, like a, but, a beast murderer. She they, murdered so many fucking No, scrolls. but they kind of gave her a pass too. They did. Because the leader of the, oh, well, I guess the leader of the scrolls at that point in time like, was kind of like, war. you know, this is war. Yeah. I've gotten my hands dirty too. Mm-hmm. You know, it is what it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I was like, mm, okay, that's fine. You yeah, give yeah, her a pass. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, she yeah, didn't yeah. know. She didn't know, to be she honest. She didn't know. But, uh, Captain Marvel's a fucking genocide. <laughs> She's a genocidal maniac. <laughs> <laughs> genocidal maniac. <laughs> no, no. All right. All right. The fight scene when she escapes the, the scroll thing, the scroll ship, I think that was pretty cool. Uh, when she had the little fucking like, metal shits on, she was trying to use her power. She's like, fuck, I can't get do this shit. Yeah, uh, the quips is what get me. Like, you guys want to help me out with these? Uh, no? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Like, the quips is what get me. It's like, usually Marvel movies are super good with the comedy. Yeah. And the levity. But in this movie, like, I don't know if they were really going for those 90s shit, but it it did did feel like a quip from a fucking action movie in the 90s. Mm. It did feel like it. Hasta la vista, baby. You know, like, that kind of shit. That kind of, like, don't get me wrong, that's an iconic quip. In this case. That's what they were going for. And then maybe it was because that's what it yeah. felt like, like a action '90s movie that wasn't that was that wasn't that great. It was, like, it was just some of the quips got like later <clears> on <throat> they got better. The writing got better as the movie gone on, went on. Probably Early writing to me was just directors. was just not very 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 solid. Um, so I guess we can just run off through some of the things that tie in like to the current stuff. Like for example. We find out how uh, Nick Fury got his eye patch and why he has it. What did you think of Goose? Uh, I loved the cat. I loved the. I loved it. The cat. I uh, freaking loved it. AKA Goose. AKA a creature from another fucking planet yes. who has like fucking tentacles living inside of it. Uh, I thought it was. It. Th- I thought it was cool. I thought. I don't. I mean. I don't personally don't. I'm not crazy about cats, but yeah, I was like, yeah, that's a cool cat. Whatever. I. I liked it. Cause. 
you know, as someone who's not as versed in the Marvel universe oh, okay. as others, I didn't. I mean, I I knew there was something up with the cat. Yeah. Um, uh, I didn't realize what it was. Um, but I loved it, and the 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 play with uh, Jackson. Okay. With uh, Nick Fury, the, the just works so well. And <laughs> yeah. The fucking cat doesn't say one fucking word, but it just, just works so yeah, well. Was... It's like one of those like, uh, <laughs> I, you know, group. Uh, I am okay. group. Yeah, kind yeah, of thing yeah. like that comedy that just works so well for this movie. Um, fucking one of my favorite characters. As the movie went on, Nick Fury and his relationship with Car- Carol, uh, Captain Marvel, just it Carol got Denver's. so good. Uh, verse. <laughs> yeah, it just got so good. But yeah, uh, Groose is ends up fucking scratching. Yeah, it just scratches Nick for no which reason. Which I think is lame. I thought that was stupid. I'm like, well, this is solo all over again. Like, <laughs> scratches him, and then his eye is shut. Like, literally bruised and shut. He's like, no, I'm fine. Oh, what the fine. fuck? I'm good. No, you're not. <laughs> uh, yeah, not... I I don't I, I I mean I don't care but I can nah, understand why I, a lot of I, I really lot don't of fans either. are like but for me it's kind of like uh, I was kind of like it's, you just, it's dumb but at the same time it gets us talking about like kind of like how stupid it kind of is so yeah. it's kinda like, there's, uh, there's so okay. many other ways you could have done that I mean he was literally fighting <laughs> the Cree like the one of the Cree whatever that's what the route they decided to take hold on They're, let me let me reset the camera because the battery's dying all right we'll be right back ow. What was I gonna go? Well, well, one thing we can also talk about is how some of the music didn't fit. I don't think it fit the situation. I don't think they picked the right music uh, for the situation. Ace to bass. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Don't oh, yeah. go yeah. chasing <laughs> waterfalls. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, don't get me wrong. I liked. I liked the music. I liked the music. But, but it didn't. The, the movie didn't accomplish the '90s theme enough for to warrant the music being in there. Like, you okay. shooting a fucking 2018 movie and putting 90s music on it, that's what it kind of felt like. Yeah. It's like, it, you're not going... Like, when Ragnarok went for that 80s fucking action theme, Yeah. they... Yeah, the, the aesthetic fit the music. In this movie, the aesthetic, to me, is not fitting That's what I'm saying. The like, the, like, the way so, they, but I like they the filmed it, the way they made their, like, vision didn't fit the what they were trying to accomplish especially yeah. when they added the music on top of it um actually you know what stop calling this a spoiler it's more of a discussion of this movie because <laughs> i feel man there's so much to talk about this movie like man just talking about brie larson and her and her acting as uh captain marvel and like i started like with the emphasis that she actually is a good actress she's an academy award winner but for this film man did it feel forced Man, did it feel like, man, I'm going to go out here. I'm going to try my fucking hardest to make this fucking character awesome as shit. But honestly, the way she took the direction of the Captain Marvel character, I don't think she had to go full out like that, you know? At least, uh, I mean, for me. I mean, like I said, I think the writing had a big thing to yeah, do the, with I don't it. think the writing That's not her, her fault. Yeah. And, and, and like I said, those first 30 minutes are just hard to watch. Yeah. I'm just like cringing in my seat. Yeah. Then the writing gets better and you know, I, I got involved in the movie. Um, so her performance, I mean, was it like great? Am I like oh you know, uh fucking uh um Wonder Woman, what's her name? Um uh Gail Godog. Uh, yeah, Gail Godog. <laughs> yeah. That all around movie, uh, fucking writing, uh, action. I mean, that to me, I was like, okay, that's impressive. Better than Captain Marvel. Yes. Okay, I agree. So I let I see this movie, and nothing about what Brie did shout out to me as like, man, that was impressive. You know. Yeah. That's Being true. one of the most powerful beings in in the Marvel universe. Nothing about that. Other than some of the CG fights was shouting to me like, wow, that's that's crazy. Honestly, <laughs> you remember the the little like PSAs they did with Captain America? You know, when they're in the they're in the gym and he's like talking to the kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was expecting for fucking Captain Marvel to do that at the end of every like fight scene or every conversation she was doing. Cause it felt that cheesy. Like it felt like that force, like like Come on, girls! You can be as strong as I can. I am, and blah blah blah. Like again, I have no problem with the feminism. I have no problem with it. But the way she did it was just like, 
It could have been better. Like, honestly, I'm at the point where I'm like, they miscast her. They, they should have gotten another actress. You know, I thought the same thing when I heard the that casting. That it was her? Yeah, that it was her. I was just like, I don't know. I just didn't. And Yeah, I, because you're talking about the writing, but then I'm going, I'm thinking back. And I thought like Samuel's character was good. Oh, Nick but, Fury was yeah, badass. Nick Fury was fucking awesome. Yeah. But was it because he's been there, done that? Or because like his acting is better? Or his his portrayal of the character that he already is familiar with is better? Because oh, remember, yeah. he has to be the younger version of himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he can't be that hard asshole that he was back yeah, yeah, then, yeah, like yeah. is now. Yeah, yeah. And he was like that likable, like over here playing with the cat, like, oh, cute, He was so cutie. good in this movie. Yeah, like, so good. that's what I'm saying. Like, I think they did miscast her. They could have picked up, uh, picked a better uh, actress. I don't know. Maybe they she did something in rehearsals or whatever, and the where she goes to uh, tries out to be this a- uh, actress or in, in the movie, like. And I, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know where 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 they went wrong. <laughs> but I would love to know what other actresses were up for this role because at this point it's kind of like fuck, you know. Yeah, and then uh, you know, later in the movie you find out that um, the scientist that, she, that everybody was searching for was Captain Marvel. Marvel. Marvel, yeah. who uh, in the comics I believe it was a guy was the one who handed yeah. the powers down to yeah to uh, everybody Carol. thought everybody thought that Jude Law's character was Marvel, oh, okay. and because it, it would make more sense, but yeah. no, it turns out it was somebody else because I think Marvel was a Cree as well because she then, was Cree. Yeah, and then she gets yeah, and then she gets her powers from the explosion of the ship. Which is like uh, basically an engine, which is supposed to help with like light speeds yeah. or whatever for so travel. They, you know, but anyways, like they apparently the this wasn't the engine is not what they were looking for in this movie. In this movie, they were looking for the source of the power from the engine, which turned out to be the fucking uh, the fucking cube. What's it called? One of the Infinity Stones. Uh, shit, I forgot what it's called, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the blue one, <laughs> <laughs> the fucking blue one, the cube one. <laughs> But yeah, it turns out that yeah, it's it's here, and that's why like that's how it's on Earth, and <sighs> I like the fight scene. Like my favorite part of the movie has to be where the Kree show up, uh, Ronan shows up in the fucking battleships. Mm-hmm. You know they uh, fucking warp into Earth on top of outside of the atmosphere, and Captain Marvel goes over there and fucking just destroys the fleet. Yeah, like and that's then, and then. <laughs> And then when she does that shit, when she flies right in front of their ship, and yeah. then she's just like all powered up in space and just like just like staring them down, and then she's just like, and then you see like this blast thing she does. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> really? Okay, so and then what? Yeah, we gotta Alice, get out like, of here. Why not just destroy the rest of the ships? Yeah, but no, they escape. I mean, she's uh, a superhero. She doesn't kill. You yeah, know, whatever. Just to kill. Uh, goes back to Earth. <laughs> uh, fucking uh, Yon Rog is there. And then she doesn't kill him. She sends him back yeah. to tell the Kree that, you know, there's a new sheriff in town. How are you doing? Um, <laughs> but yeah, and then uh, movie ends, whatever. Everybody lives happily ever uh, after. We get the explains how she scene. leaves. Yeah. Explains how she leaves. She leaves she to leaves help to the help scrolls the, find a new home. Yeah, yeah. So she's gone. Apparently, this shit, this endeavor takes fucking, you know, twenty, 20 years. years. So yeah. Fucking okay to find the the scrolls uh, home. Um, and then we get to post credits. Then we get to post credits. Shows immediately jumps into the first one is uh, 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 Endgame. Endgame. Avengers. Yes. Mm-hmm. Shows end game. Oh, oh, even before that, uh, Nick Fury is like, all right, we need to find uh, a plan to fight against aliens and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Uh, I forgot what it was, the something initiative. And then he sees a picture of Claire uh, Davers and her uh, plane. And her code name Her code name is Avenger. Avenger. He's like, Avengers. <laughs> the initiative. Avengers initiative. Get the fuck out of here. Okay, whatever. That's fine. I don't care about uh, yeah, that. Yeah, that's fine. Right. Okay. Anyways, anyways, we get to post credits and oh, we get it to end. Oh. What I wanted to bring up was the Stan Lee Oh yeah. We, what did you think about that, man? Uh, you can tell that there was a part where it wasn't him; it was another person. <laughs> but then, like, they put down the newspaper, and she's like, and he's like, and then that's it. I still was like, okay. I mean, 
I guess it just hit more, and there didn't need words to be said. No, I think I because think, he has just passed, away. passed and no, I I'm think, glad that there wasn't like any script lines. Oh yeah, there was no. Dialogue. It was just kind of like a, no dialogue. Yeah, like okay. No, fuck that. She should have been like like about to beat the fuck out of him because she she's on a train looking for one of the scrolls. Who, like, again, who could shapeshift? So she's like searching around looking for like clues of which one it is, and she sees Stan Lee. And instead of just being like, I'm gonna beat the fuck out of you, she's just like, like Get the fuck out of here. Because she man. knew. Yeah, like, no, she, fuck that. You should have fucked What do you, me. but no matter what he line would have said, it would not have been good. No, no, enough. no, no. I'm not saying about the line. I'm saying about her, her expression, reaction. her reaction to it. I'm like, nah, fuck that. You're looking for somebody. You're hot. You're hot right now, ready to beat the hell out of somebody. No, but she could tell who was like, nah, uh, scrolling. They just who did that because he passed away. I bet you anything. It was a nod to Stan Lee, man. It was a nod to Stan Lee. Even the beginning, like the. You're right. If he was alive, it would have been some funny. It would have been something else. Yeah. But, uh, uh, yeah, like even in the beginning, uh, Marvel credit role, like it was like nothing but Stan Lee's. Like, like usually you see like the different Marvel characters, whatever, like Iron Man. Oh, for real on the yeah. scroll, I didn't notice. Yeah, on the Marvel logo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's nothing but Stan Lee. Oh, for real, I didn't notice. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, so then yeah, we get to en- uh, End Game, where supposedly the they're trying to work on the scene. beeper. Yeah. The beeper loses power. The high tech beeper that mm-hmm. that you know Captain uh, Marvel, uh, that Captain Marvel uh, made for, for Nate, Fury, yeah. uh, and obviously in the last Avengers movie you see Fury just dis- dissipate while he's doing the beeper shit, um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, it goes straight into Endgame. You see uh, uh, Black Widow, you see Captain America, you see who else uh, is there? War Machine was there. War Machine was there. Somebody, else. oh Banner was there. Uh, no, Banner? Yeah, he was. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, you're right. It yeah. was Banner. And so the four of them are tripping. Okay, what happened to the pager? And then, boom, all of a sudden, Captain Marvel shows up and she's like, Where's, where's Nick Fu- Fury? Yeah, where's Fury? <laughs> yeah, where's Fury? And then, cut. Yep. Black scene. Badass. Kind of hypes you up for Endgame. That's really the, the only scene you need to know. Honestly, it's the only reason I watched it. <laughs> just to get ready for Endgame. Yeah, and then the final scene is. The final post credit? Yeah. Final post credit. The second yeah. post credit. Uh, is you see Goose, uh, fucking start gagging, <laughs> and it start it gags <laughs> out the final, <laughs> yeah. uh, the fucking cube shit. What is it called? I forgot. Hold on, but isn't that in present time that that's happening? No, that's set the pass. So that's a past scene. Yeah, because Thanos already has them. Remember? Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's so a pass. So I'm thinking. Hold on, is this another piece? No. You know what I did. Did think about though, like you know when she showed up with in in the end game uh, credit thing, I was like, I wonder if they're gonna make uh, make her look old because this is supposed to be like twenty plus years. But then again, she's. Uh... But that's what I was thinking too. She's traveling through space and time is a little bit different because of that. Even you know relativity because oh, of yeah, gravity right. and whatnot. So I was like, I wonder if they're gonna make her look old or not. But I don't know. Thank didn't. you, Einstein. So she comes back and a day has passed for her. <laughs> pretty much. Fucking 25 years have passed for us. Yeah, pretty much. That's what you think they're going to do? Because she, oh, you're right. In the end game, she looked exactly she the, the same. same. Yeah. <laughs> what? All right. Science. So we went extra long on this one. Yeah. So <laughs> tell us what you guys thought of the movie. Yeah, for sure. Um, did you think it was good? Did you think it was trash? Yeah, What's please. your final rating on it? One out, Scale out of one out of ten. One out of ten. <sighs> I would give this movie maybe a 7.5 out of 10. Bro, that is exactly where I'm at. 7.5. <laughs> 7.5 out of 10. That beginning lowered it. The middle and end picked it back up. The cast of characters. In the middle, I was kind of ready to fall asleep, to be honest. It was a lot of light. And I actually have a friend who did fall asleep uh, during the beginning. <laughs> and uh, woke up at the middle end part of the movie. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um... 7.5. I think the cast of characters is what makes this movie so good. Brie Larson kind of left me feeling mad about Captain Marvel, who yeah. should be one of the most badass characters in, in the Marvel Universe. Yeah. Um, hopefully, this is when they introduce X-Men and Rogue can take her fucking powers. All like right. they did in the animated show. That'll be tight. Spoiler. Uh, all right. Spoilers. Uh, but anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been the our three-way podcast hump day show we do this every wednesday video out in the morning uh thank you for watching like subscribe let us know what you thought uh we'll see you again next week thank you guys thanks guys